So I just finished binge watching Daredevil season three over on Netflix and they introduced a brand new character named Dex and he has borderline personality disorder. But how did the show do with showing the signs and symptoms of this mental illness? everybody this is Chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health and something fun that I like to do is take different like movies and TV shows that I'm watching and see how they depict mental illness like did they do it good did they do it bad what are they doing so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton a ton of videos in this video I will be doing kind of a mental health review of season three of Daredevil over on Netflix um great 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 series i love that series so much but anyways there's gonna be spoilers so if you haven't watched it yet you might want to leave come back later after you finish the season but i was late to watching this season so if you're a daredevil fan you probably should have beat me to watching this already first off first off before we jump into dex aka bullseye let's get this out of the way karen page what are you doing did you learn nothing from the shane dawson jake paul series we have all been lied to Right? We've, we've been manipulated by a sociopath who doesn't care about the truth or about who he hurts or about anyone other than himself. You can't just go around labeling people sociopaths even if it's kingpin. That was a joke, calm down. But yeah, as I go through this review and talking about borderline personality disorder, like I do wanna say like, you know, um, some people are going to look at, you know, is this perpetuating a stigma and all of this and like, they, I don't know, it's, it's a TV show and I don't think they stigmatized it. But I do wanna point out some things they got wrong. For anybody who watched this season is just wondering like, is this what borderline personality disorder looks like? Because they did get some stuff wrong, but they actually got some stuff right too. So for those of you who haven't watched the series and don't plan on watching it, um, anyways, there's a new character, his name is Benjamin Poindexter, he goes by Dex, he's an FBI agent, and he ends up turning into Bullseye, but they don't really give him the name Bullseye. Rumors are that he's coming back next season, and at the very end of this uh, this season, there was like kind of like a little like teaser that he's turning into Bullseye. But anyways, he uh, gets the attention of Wilson Fisk, AKA um, Kingpin, and Kingpin starts looking into him to see what this FBI agent's all about, and he pulls all these records. So let's talk about you know, the flashback where Kingpin is reading about uh, Dex's like past and his diagnoses. So basically what happened was Dex was a baseball player and he's just got this killer arm. Why well, wouldn't Bill Bullseye have a killer arm, right? And his coach um, like sits him, right? And Dex is like throwing a perfect game and he gets like kind of upset at the coach. Well, Bill Bullseye's like superpower is that he can like just like nail any shot that he wants. He can like bank stuff off of stuff. So anyways, he gets upset that his coach bends him. He takes the baseball, bounces it off a, a pole, hits the coach in the head, kills the coach, right? So he goes to get assessed psychologically. Now, around this time, Dex is probably, I don't know if they said his age in this scene, but he's probably around 12 or 13, I'm guessing. But anyways, he's talking to a therapist. But anyways, she writes out on her notepad as she's talking to Dex, borderline personality disorder. And then when she asks him about like, how'd you feel about, you know, what you did and da da da, and he gives his answer. And then right underneath it, she writes uh, psychotic tendencies, okay? Something that they, they definitely got wrong is that you cannot diagnose a child with borderline personality disorder. Like it is like a rule that you cannot diagnose somebody with a personality disorder until they are an adult. One of the reasons being is that their brain is not even fully formed yet. So yes, it is possible for kids to have um, mental illness, but a personality disorder isn't something that any kind of mental health professional would diagnose. Now, going back to the stigma, like did they stigmatize this? Because I know a lot of people are gonna watch this and say, hey, not everybody with BPD is violent. Yes, that's true, but I think the little like loophole that they gave themselves was that they wrote down that he has uh, psychotic tendencies, okay? So what was interesting is it kind of like reminded me of Dexter. I don't know if any of you watched Dexter. I love that show, love that show so much. Like if I get bored, I might like go back and rewatch it and make some videos on it. But anyways, like it, it's almost like he has this urge, this craving to kill and his uh his therapist was trying to like get him to kind of uh like keep it under control his tendencies under control and dex ended up joining like the military and his therapist um passed away i think when he was a uh, 
uh, maybe 18, 19 years old. It looked like he was like older in high school. But anyways, Dex ends up getting a job at a suicide hotline. And it's just like, it's really like creepy because, you know, he like acts, you know, like, you know, hey, I'm a good person, I'm trying to help people. But he kind of uses a suicide hotline to like, I don't know, like manipulate people into doing something. Like he's like, hey, why, why would you do this to yourself? Why don't you just, you know, shoot your stepdad since he's a jerk? Well, anyways, at the suicide hotline, there's a woman named Julie, all right? And Dex develops feelings for her. So now let's talk about, you know, the intense emotions people with borderline personality disorder feel. So Dex, like got this obsession, right? Like he talks about like, oh yeah, I go out on dates with this girl and you know, we have great talks or whatever. But then you find out that he pretty much just stalks her and like watches her and he like follows her on her running path and he has like a picture of her in his apartment. And like some of this stuff is very realistic. Like, like I've, I've mentioned before, I was never diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, but I can definitely relate to the symptoms. And I know any of you watching this who have struggled with BPD, you can identify with some of these symptoms. Like these intense emotions, like, Somebody even maybe showing you, I don't know, like a, a decent amount of attention or they're, they just fit into this like box of who you would be attracted to. Maybe they're, you know, pretty smart, kind, nice, whatever it is. Like there's these intense emotions. It's not like, hey, I like that girl. Maybe I'll ask her out on a date and see how things go. It's like, I'm in love with her, right? Like these are things that I used to struggle with a lot. And like, you know, as I started working on my mental health, I had to start balancing that. Like, listen, Chris, you don't have to fall in love with every single woman you meet. You know what I mean? So that part of it, like, yeah, that that does happen uh, to people with BPD. But on the other hand, like the obsession and the stalking, um, I'm sure it has happened before, but I wouldn't say this is like a depiction of all people with borderline personality disorder. Like they might get a little obsessive and like text you a million times, call you a ton, but like, like these are these are like kind of but they wouldn't like, I don't know it's just from my experience I haven't met many people with borderline personality disorder who would go to like this level of stalking that Dex did. So lastly, let's talk about one of the main symptoms of borderline personality disorder, which is black and white thinking, which is also called splitting. Okay, for those of you who don't know what that is, when people with borderline personality disorder have relationships with anybody, it could be a friend, a family member, it could be just somebody at the grocery store. There's an all good or all bad category for them, right? And depending on how that person treats the person with borderline personality disorder, they can switch, boom, 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 like, like that, right? This is why it's very hard for people with borderline personality disorder to have relationships, not just intimate relationships, but with friends, with family members, because they'll love you one minute and hate you the next minute. So Kingpin is, you know, he's a guy who's always like, manipulating situations, moving pieces around and all of that. So it seemed like Kingpin took advantage of Dexter's, uh, Point Dexter's um, borderline personality disorder and he knew how that was. So Kingpin helps out Dex. He helps out Dex in little ways, just tiny little ways, because what Kingpin's doing is he's moving to the good side of Dex, right? And if you accept this, unlike everyone in your life, I will never abandon you the decision is yours like in that scene right there kingpin even says like i will never abandon you and that's something that people with borderline personality disorder struggle with this intense fear of abandonment and in most cases it's imagined right so one of the things that kingpin did to manipulate the situation was he put julie in Dex's like uh, situation, right? And then Julie got freaked out and left. So now Dex is feeling abandoned. So Kingpin was able to play into that and say, I would never abandon you. So is this something that could really happen? Absolutely, absolutely 100%. So if anybody watching this is struggling with borderline personality disorder, you have to be careful about being manipulated by people who understand your mental illness. Now, what's interesting is a lot of people with borderline personality disorder get accused of being manipulative, but it's also positive for somebody to manipulate somebody with BPD. So that's how Kingpin gets the loyalty of Dex and gets Dex to like, you know, murder people and do all sorts of crazy stuff. That's how Kingpin does it. But Daredevil, my boy Matt Murdock, he ends up telling Dex what really happened and Kingpin ended up murdering Julie and he helps Dex find out and that's when Dex turns on Wilson Fisk, AKA Kingpin. So as you can see, like Kingpin went from like this father figure, this person who would never abandon Dex and Kingpin also said some things to Dex like where he is putting his, uh, his fiance who turns into his wife, Vanessa, above Dex and that could be 
very, very hurtful to somebody with borderline personality disorder because they have that fear of abandonment. They have that fear that someone's just gonna leave them or they're gonna get pushed to the side by somebody else. So Dex, like, even before all this stuff happened, he went and got this painting that Kingpin wanted because he thought he can get, you know, he could be, you know, the light of Kingpin's eyes and all of that. So, but what you see is this switch that Kingpin goes from, from the white to the black area. Like, they're either all good or all bad. It's difficult for people with borderline personality disorder to say, okay, maybe this was a one-off or maybe this person was having a bad day. Like they see you in one of two categories. That's why it's really, really important for people with borderline personality disorder to recognize when this splitting starts to happen and kind of like think rationally. Something I always suggest is to write down traits of the person and say what is true, what is false, right? Like what are the real characteristics of this person and what are the lies that my brain is telling me right now, such as this person doesn't love me, they don't care about me, they want to get rid of me, and all of that. Because when we put it on paper, we can kind of acknowledge like the crazy places that our brain starts to go. But anyways, anyways, again, like I said, I don't think they stigmatize borderline personality disorder. Again, they said Dex had some psychotic traits. So I don't really think they were just saying like, hey, BPD people are dangerous and they're gonna turn into evil super villains or anything like that. So like, um, but anyways, if you watch the episodes um, where they talked about borderline personality disorder, I would love to know your thoughts, or if you're somebody who just stumbled across Across this video and you struggle with BPD like let me know your experiences with some of the things that I talked about like intense emotions or black and white thinking all right let's have a talk down in the comments below anyways that's all I got for you with this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'm always making videos and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to help me spread a message of hope when it comes to mental health click or tap on that patreon icon right there all right thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time